everybody and welcome to part two of this um christmas card that i am making i haven't decided on the name of this project yet but it might be um ho 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 merry christmas i really don't know yet so what i went ahead and done is i um finished cutting out my um image and i had to redo redo some cuts because i did the wrong colors for the um for the red and the black layers I accidentally had them had them switch so I had to redo it um, I went ahead and scored my white cardstock and I cut cut out some pieces so what I did was I wanted to create some snow so I created these two pieces here you can see that there are some line marks but that's okay because it's going to be um, um, hidden and it's going to be layered on to this piece of five by five, five, yeah, five and a quarter by five and a quarter card, um, card stock. And this is from, um, Recollections Fala La Paper Stack. And I believe I got this last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay, I'm going to put some adhesive at the bottom here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this onto our um, first layer. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my big cake. And I'm going to do some embossing. And I'm using my cutter bug, and I believe this is called the, the Snowflakes um, embossing folder. And what I'm going to do is because is because of the way that um, this is bigger than the embossing folder, I'm actually going to do my embossing sideways. And I'm doing it this way because I want to have to do a second layer. And it can easily be hidden in my um by the image. Ooh. Okay. back through So this is our end result. Okay. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add this piece onto our cardstock. And you want to get it a lot of adhesive because of the embossing. So you want it to really, really stick. Hear my daughter coming down. Okay, so now we're gonna have our image most likely popped up like so. And I am using Home for Christmas. This is by Cards TV with Mary. This is her stamp set, and I am on her um, design team. And I'm going to use the Home for Christmas. And let's see. I think I'm going to use the um, Ho Ho Ho. Okay, so I have stamped Ho Ho Ho, and I'm going to take my, I thought I had the name of this, Word Window Punch from Stampin' Up, and I'm just going to line it up, and stamp, I mean punch, and now what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to decide do I want black, or do I want, um, I cut out one of each to see how I like it. I'm cutting out a piece of the red. And I'm going to cut out, cut out a piece of the black. And this is, uh, I use the designer label punch for that. Okay, so. Now, either I can have it like that, or I can have it with the black. I think it looks nice either or, but I think I want to do the red just because there's a lot of black here. So, I'm going to add some adhesive to our little punch. And I want to add this down. And my daughter is singing something about graham crackers because she's been bugging me for graham crackers for the past hour or so. And I'm trying to decide. I'm, I know I want this to be up, so I might not have the ho 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 popped up. down here and then I think I'm going to add once I find where I did what I did with my dimensionals I did a lot of crafting the other day trying to do some cards for a girlfriend of mine and she said that everybody loved the cards that I did and I had, I had like 20 of them to do so I'm very very excited that everybody loved them And one more up there. Okay. So I'm going to have them coming at an angle. Okay, and 
there is our completed card. So I hope you enjoyed this, what seems to be a very long um, tutor tutorial of how to use the Cricut Craft Room, the Cricut Mini, and how to make a card using Cards, cards TV stamps. Okay guys, I'm back, I'm back real quick. After I looked at my project, I realized something was missing. I said that Santa has the right to be blamed out. So what I did was I took some rhinestones from Stampin' Up! I had one right here, a string, and part of a string here. And then I added three in the back. Because you know, after all these years of hard work, Santa Claus deserves to have a little bit of blame. So, I just added that and I wanted to show everybody. Bye-bye.